in this session we will try to obtain an exact solution for the problem of circular bars uh, under torsion using sine venant's method sine venant formulated the problem of torsion of a prismatic bar as a problem of uh, finding out uh, a harmonic function psi uh, which <coughs> satisfies a boundary condition in the form do psi by do x minus y into dy by ds minus do psi by do y plus x into dx by ds is equal to 0. We can put it, this execution number one. The simplest form of a harmonic function psi, uh, or uh, in other words, a function which satisfies Laplace equation del square uh, psi equal to zero. Uh, this is the <coughs> condition for a harmonic function. Is uh, the function psi is equal to c where c is a constant. This is the simplest function which satisfies the square psi is equal to 0. So, uh, from this we will get that uh, dou psi by dou x is equal to 0 and dou psi by dou y equal to 0. Okay. If we substitute these values in the boundary condition above this equation, what we will get? here? this term and this term is 0. So, we will get minus y into dy by ds minus x into dx by ds equal to 0. Now, <coughs> uh, if we multiply this equation by minus 2, what we will get? We will get uh, okay, we can rearrange these terms. We will get x, a two x. We have to multiply this by minus two, two x dx by ds plus two y dy by ds equal to zero. We can write this as d by ds of x square plus y square is equal to zero. So, uh, if we integrate this equation with respect to ds, what we will get? We will get x square plus y square is a constant. x square plus y square is a constant. So, here x and y represents the coordinates of the points on the boundary. Since x square plus y square is the uh, is the boundary condition. We reduced this equation to uh, this boundary condition to this form uh, by uh, taking psi is equal to a constant that is the psi is equal to c and uh, so the x comma y represents the coordinates uh, of any point on the boundary. We know that x square plus y square is constant is equal to constant represents the equation of a circle. So, the boundary of the <coughs> this cross section will be a circle. So, we will have a circular cross section. So, uh, the psi is equal to c represents uh, the warping function of a the warping function of a circular cross uh, prismatic bar having circular cross section under torsion and uz can be written as uz is equal to theta into c okay since uz is uh, independent of uh, x and y coordinates we can say that if we take any cross section uh, if we take any cross section before twisting that will <coughs> displaced uniformly means the plane sections remains plane even after uh, twisting so that represents a circle we know that okay here, uh, in the case of uh, from uh, Saint Valens formulation, we know that 
any point in the in, in this area in, in any if we take any area of cross section the shear stress at any point uh, p of x y can be uh, calculated as uh, using two equation to x z is equal to g theta into do psi by do x minus y and to y z is equal to g theta into do psi by do y plus x all uh, the f uh, other four st uh, strain uh, stress components will be zero we know that sigma x is equal to zero sigma y is equal to zero sigma z is equal to zero and tau x y is equal to zero uh, we can uh, represent tau x y and uh, tau x z and tau y z like this and uh, <coughs> r represents the distance of the point from the center of the circle or oh, axis uh, of twist center of twist uh, now <coughs> we can write that uh, since psi is equal to uh, dou psi by dou x and dou psi by dou y is equal to 0 we can write tau x z is equal to g minus g theta y and tau y z is equal to g theta x so we can write this in tau x y is equal to minus g theta y and here it is g theta x ok so what is the total shear stress acting uh, at a point uh, p f x y which is r distance from the uh, center we can write that is tau square sorry here tau square is equal to tau x z square plus tau y z square ok uh, here we will get uh, to g theta minus g theta y square plus g theta x whole square. So, <coughs> we will get to is equal to g theta into root of x square plus y square, but we know that uh, here r square r is equal to root of x square plus y square from the figure. So, we will get tau is equal to g theta into r. Okay. <coughs> this represents the shear stress at any point uh, which is r distance from uh, the center of twist in a circular cross section. Uh, we <coughs> oh, if uh, here theta represents the angle of twist per unit length, if we, if we have uh, uh, a bar uh, like this which length is l and uh, the angle of twist at uh, the this cross section is uh, theta star then here we have theta star e by l theta is equal to theta star by l so we can write tau is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta star by l you have studied this equation in previous semester. Okay. Now, uh, we will uh, calculate the uh, torque. Here, we have only two uh, shear stress components and uh, if we take a small area, uh, the shear stress is produced due to uh, the applied torque only. So, if we take a small area d a here if we take a small area d a here around this point small area around this point small area d a around this point d a around this point and uh, if we take the moment about this uh, moment due to this uh, shear uh, the forces due to shear, these shear stresses uh, about this point and uh, <coughs> if we integrate over the whole, uh, whole area then what we will get we will get that should be equal to the applied torque ok. Uh, so, uh, here the force due to this will be tau y uh, that should be in this direction force in this direction at this area is tau x z into 
uh, that is the stress so we have to find out force we have to multiply with uh, <coughs> uh, the area and uh, we will get tau xz into dA or minus g theta y into dA here uh, the force in this direction will be g theta x into dA so we are going to take the moment about this direction here uh, we have this distance this distance this is uh, x and uh, this is y since the coordinates of the point are x y so we can write <coughs> the moment of this area dm this force which is uh, causing a tau xz minus e theta y uh, tau xz into da which is causing a, <coughs> a clockwise moment so we will take this as negative and uh, the moment due to this force tau yz into da causing a anti clockwise moment uh, which uh, we will take as positive so we will write uh, tau yz into da into tau yz into da into x okay that is positive tau xz into da into y which is negative right dm the moment dm due to the forces in this da area that is <coughs> we have tau xz into y minus minus tau xz into uh, y into da sorry tau xz into y into da plus tau yz into x into da here uh, we have the values of tau xz and tau yz so we can write this as uh, <coughs> y uh, we can y into minus of minus g theta y into y uh, into da plus uh, x into x into plus x into g theta <coughs> x into da here we will get uh, g theta into dm is equal to g theta into um, x square plus y square into da so <coughs> to find out the uh, total moment due to uh, total moment in this area due to the <coughs> shear stresses we we can we have to integrate uh, over the whole area and that should be equal to uh, to maintain equilibrium that should be equal to the applied torque okay so we can write t should be is equal to integral over area g theta into x square plus y square into da or t is equal to g theta into integral over a uh, x square plus y square da here we know that uh, x square plus integral x square plus y square plus uh, y square into da over the whole area represents the uh, polar moment of area of any area of cross section oh, so here we can write t is equal to g theta into i p okay this gives the equation of torque in the case of a <coughs> circular section uh, circular bar under torsion that is same as uh, in the case of uh, what we have obtained in elementary uh, solid mechanics or the 